Today we are talking about an exciting new feature that Midjourney just released, and that is inpainting. Inpainting, which they also call very region, allows you to make changes to specific regions of an upscaled image. The inpainting feature works best if you select a region that is at least 20 to 50% of the overall image. It works well if you want to add a feature that matches the scene or could plausibly exist in that image. These would be things like changing clothing and accessories on a character. For example, here I used Midjourney to create this image of a doctor. Then I had Midjourney change her hair color to blonde, give her a clipboard, sunglasses, and changed her lab coat color to blue. You can also use inpainting to correct issues with hands or facial expressions. Here I prompted for an image of a sad boy. Then I selected his face and changed the prompt text to include the word happy. You can also remove things from images. So maybe I like this background, but I want to remove the character from the image. I can simply select the character and change the prompt text to something that describes the background. With nature scenes, you could add birds flying in the sky or perhaps an old Scottish castle to your mountain landscape. In painting doesn't work as well if you try to add objects that seem out of place for the image that you're starting with. For example, a whale in the desert. Or maybe that's what you're going for. Okay, so that was a lot of examples. Now let's walk through exactly how you can use this new feature. The inpainting feature will show up as a very region button below any upscaled image. If you do not see this button, you will need to make sure that you are using the latest version of Discord. To update Discord on the desktop app, simply open Discord and press Control R. Next, you will want to make sure that you have remix mode enabled. This will allow you to change the prompt text for the region that you select. You can enable remix mode by typing slash settings and selecting the remix mode option. Then submit your prompt to Midjourney. Let's do man walking down a city street, close up shot, daytime, photorealistic. And I will use the latest version of Midjourney, which right now is 5.2. So we'll do dash dash V 5.2 and a stylized value of 250. Next, I will upscale one of the images. Now, underneath this upscaled image, we will click Vary Region. This brings up a window where we can select the region of the image that we want to change. We have a box selection tool and a lasso tool. And because we have remix mode enabled, we can change our prompt text here. This prompt text will apply to the region that we select. I want to change his coat, so I'm going to use the lasso tool to draw around this area. When you're selecting a region, if you don't get it all at first, that's okay. You can just continue adding to it, or you can click the undo button and go back a step. And here are some of the results with our man in his new coat. I hope you enjoyed that quick rundown of Midjourney's new inpainting feature. I'd love to hear what you will be using inpainting for in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.